Hi guys, welcome to a slightly different video for visordown.com. My name is Alex and today I'm chatting to you about the Senna 10C Evo intercom slash camera. Now I've been running this on my AGV K6 lid for quite some time now and it could be the dream intercom unit for someone who wants all of the functionality of a Bluetooth intercom but plus the added bonus of a ultra HD quality camera for recording your shenanigans while you're out and about. So let's have a look at the unit, cover what's good and what's bad, and whether it's worth considering for your next big purchase to stick on your helmet. So first things first, the price and availability. Now Senna has priced up the 10C Evo. It's a premium option in the UK and listed for around 270 pounds all the way up to 390 pounds. The RRP was initially listed at £390 when it was launched way back in around 2019, but you do tend to now find some deals and offers to secure it for that much cheaper. With the intercom video and photo modes on the 10C Evo, a lot of the boxes are ticked here for a do-it-all product. Though it is worth mentioning that Senna also have the 10C Pro if you want more camera action. So this corner of the intercom plus camera market is pretty well covered by Senna. Although you do find some knockoff versions at a budget price online, I can't comment on how good they will be, mind. So the features, fitting, and the battery. Operating with Bluetooth 4.1, so not the latest 5.2 version of Bluetooth that was released in 2020, which does show the age of the product a little bit, the party piece of this center is, of course, its ability to record video. And that can be up to 4K at 30 frames per second in 2160p, but you can also record at 1440p and 1080p at either 30 or 60 frames per second. The unit itself doesn't come with a micro SD card in the box, so you will need to purchase one to make use of the recording function, and it can house up to 128 gigabytes. The camera itself has 125 degree field of view and an f2.4 aperture. Now moving on to the intercom, the four-way connection is good for up to around about a mile in range. So you and up to four pals can ride along and stay in constant contact. If you lose connection, it can be a bit of a pain to restore it, but one mile is decent enough range and you'd hope that your mates wouldn't be that much faster than you on the road. With a lithium polymer battery, good for around 20 hours of talk time, battery life will drop drastically if you're recording video. And it is good for around 1.5 hours of recording time. Recharges are officially listed as 3.5 hours with the supplied cable, but I found it closer to around two and a half hours. It does depend if you run it completely flat or not. And luckily the 10 c Evo can slide off the holder to charge away from your helmet. Lastly, fitting the unit to your selected lid is about as straightforward as it gets. Instructions are a little bit vague, but realistically it just boils down to opening up your lid, sticking the speakers and the mic in, tucking the wires away as neatly as you can and putting it all back together. You get two options for mounting the lids. You either stick the fixed mounting plate on or you slide the adjustable mount between the cheek pads and the shell. The AGV K6 let me slide it in nicely. Oy oy. Okay, so moving on to the intercom side of things. As mentioned, it's a four-way unit with 20 hours of talk time, though I've never come close to that because simply I just don't talk for 20 hours. The mic quality is really good and whether speaking over the phone through Bluetooth or paired up to another intercom, you can be heard really clearly, even at speeds with rushing wind, where the device sort of masks out the wind noise, which is quite handy. If you're paired up to a navigation unit, that is pretty clear at the highest volume setting through the speakers, though on the odd occasion, the connection has failed between the unit and my phone, and I've not been able to hear anything. So I've had to switch the unit or the 10C Evo on and off to reset the pairing, and then it works fine. Senna does now sell higher quality speakers with a bass boost and I'd recommend checking that out as I did find the speakers a little bit weak with some of the more bass heavy music that I might have been listening to. You have to be quite steady with the jog wheel too. It's a sensitive bit of kit with no resistance so you can find yourself rapidly rolling all the way to full volume even though you didn't mean to do that. As with all intercoms, you do also have to learn a little bit of sign language to operate it. A combination of button presses, press and hold, and double button pushes are needed. For example, turning the camera on is two buttons, which the unit will announce camera on. Then you push the record button to start, and it will announce recording. And then switching it afterwards is another two, or it will do that by itself if you don't record any, anything for a little bit and leave the camera on, with the unit then announcing camera off. 
which is quite handy because it's just not going to zap your battery whilst you're not actually filming anything. Annoyingly, the unit doesn't announce its battery percentage until you're on the last few percent whilst you're recording where it will say battery low. So if you're recording a video, you'll get that warning and you'll quite literally have to wrap it up quick, literally within about a minute. Once it has the low battery, you can't then go back into video mode and you'll have a little bit of juice left in it to give you some last minute intercom navigation if you're using that. So with the video stuff here, uh, the Tenti Evo as a video unit is pretty good. Video quality is decent once you've got it in the right setting, though unfortunately that can only be set via a phone app. The angle of the internal lens can be adjusted as well, so you can get it recording nice and level depending on how you've mounted it to your helmet and the little adjustable sort of dial on the actual mount itself can mean that depending on if you're riding a different bike or not, you can tilt it up or down, which is quite handy as well. A huge plus is that the mic in the lid also pairs up for your recordings, so you can film your own vlogs and ramblings whilst you're riding and upload them for everyone to enjoy. If you're primarily after a video recorder, to be completely honest, I would consider looking at just getting a dedicated action camera that you can use and rig up a spare battery and mic and you'd be away. Though, that's not to knock the 10C Evo here because there's not many intercoms on the market that have this built-in camera functionality. So as you can see on screen at the moment is playing a few different clips of when I was riding different bikes. So for instance, the Energica, the R18B from BMW, and the NC500 Tour with the 500cc range. Of course, check out that video as well. I will just throw in a few bits here. Um, I was recording at 1440p for the most part, just to maximize both the recording time because it's not recording at a massive file size that uh, the 4K would record at, but also to make sure that the quality is crisp enough because I noticed that 1080p, although you can record at 60 frames per second, the quality does go down a little bit and it's quite noticeable. If you're going to buy one of these to record your own videos, I would suggest 1440p. I will mention that video quality can suffer in awkward lighting conditions, particularly when it gets sort of dusk and dark. But in perfect conditions, it's on par with the slightly older GoPros of the world. One mention here as well, do not get it wet. It does not like heavy rain. And my unit started to fog up after the Honda NT500 tour in Scotland where on day three we encountered some seriously heavy rain. Also check out that series of videos if you haven't already because that was a lovely little tour. So to start wrapping things up here, what's good about the Senna 10C Evo? I mean mainly the fact that it's a multi-purpose intercom with video functionality, but it's also the ease of fitting it to your lids and that you can easily pair it with your phone and run off for the hills listening to your favorite tunes. The camera quality and the right lighting is just as good as the GoPros on the market Maybe not the most recent ones, but perhaps the Hero 7s of the world and around that. In terms of the price as well, you've got to factor in that this is an intercom and a video unit. So if you were to do that separately and buy an intercom and say a GoPro Hero 7 for argument's sake, you'd be looking at spending quite a bit more than say 300 pounds. As an intercom, Senna of course know what they're doing. It's a crisp unit and it works really well. Plus if your mates have Senna units already, it will be an easy setup to get chatting with those on the road. Now what's bad, if the battery itself was a little bit bigger, that would be awesome. You need to get used to the sign language to use the actual unit and you can only adjust the camera settings in the dedicated smartphone app, which can be a little bit fiddly and annoying to do on the move. Also crucially for me, the main undoing of the unit is the lack of solid waterproofing. As I said, the rain that I encountered in Scotland has left the unit a little bit foggy and not always recording clearly. Of course, that's my own undoing, but just worth mentioning. So if you get an abundance of water in the unit, it could become just a 90 gram paperweight stuck to your lids uh, with the SD card slot and the micro USB charger slot. A little bit worryingly flappy. So it's not perfect. And if these few negative sides were tidied up, you'd probably be looking at one of the best intercoms with a camera on the market. But in conclusion, thank you very much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed the video. Do you run an intercom? I mean, are you a Senna or a Cardo fanboy? It's a bit like Marvel versus DC. But let us know in the comments down below which one you run. And of course, head to visordown.com for more. You've got the full write-up from when it was launched back with Toad in 2020. You can also subscribe to us here to stay up to date with our antics and I do hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Cheers, ciao.